We are doing a total body workout today. We need some equipment. So grab some dumbbells and at the bell, we will be doing 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest, one of my favorite timings because we get a nice burn, a nice sweat with, you know, a little bit of rest in between, sprinkled with rest. So we're gonna start at the bell with some jumping jacks. Let's go up and down. Now with these jumping jacks, I want you to make sure that you're doing full extension. Arms come all the way up and everything comes all the way down. Sometimes we get used to like these chicken wing things in junior high, but we are not chicken wing athletes. We are, I don't know what we are, but not chicken wing athletes. <laughs> all the way up and all the way down. Nice. And if that's too much, you can always take it to this option right here. Just exactly the same, just shifting our weight so it's not a ton of up and down impact right on our backs, right? Three, two, and one. Very nice. Setting up for a narrow squat, you can grab some weight, or if you don't want to, totally fine. So you're gonna hold your, have your feet at hip distance apart, holding your weight at each side. Okay, three, two, we're gonna come down, letting your, your gaze just follow your body, okay? You don't have to look straight up, you don't have to look straight down, just letting it follow, keeping your nose just, you know, in line with everything else. Down and up, bum comes back and down, keeping that form nice and tight. You only have to come down into until your hips are at knee level. You don't have to drop lower, not necessary. You can if you want to. I'm not there to stop you, so do what you want. <laughs> as long as you're going down at least to that knee level. Very nice. Now we're gonna go into vertical jumps. So drop that weight gently. Vertical jump. We're gonna have our hands or our feet at the same distance as those narrow squats. Hands come down, we're gonna push up through the sky. Nice, down, up, down, and up. And I want you to really force that air out of you, so shoot, shoot your way out, right? Shoot. I wanna hear it. Oh, I wanna hear it. Oh, that's better. Nice, down and up, down and up. When you exhale, it propels you up, okay? It tricks your brain into thinking we're gonna jump really, really high and really, really fast. So when you do that, you're conscious, you're just tricking your brain. It works a lot harder, again, with not as much effort, okay? You can get up really high, up, up, landing super light. Five, four, up, three, two, and one. Very nice. Shake it out. You're gonna grab some dumbbells and grab like a medium weight, whatever that means to you. We're gonna have an overhand grip, okay? So that means your palms are facing your legs. We're gonna come down and we're gonna pull up as if you had a bar to right into the chest. So go ahead and bend over a little bit more. There you go. Pulling up and back. You want to have this movement of pulling back. So you feel your shoulder blades come together, okay? But with the weight, it's really working that upper back. It gives us that beautiful V taper that we all love. For those open back dresses, hey, that's why we do this. So you have something to show off back there. Hey, looks so nice. Four, three, two, and one. Very nice. I would grab a medium or lighter weight. We're going into overhead presses. So this is your starting position right here, okay? Try not to drop your arms at all. We're gonna stay right here. Grip is loose, but still firm on those dumbbells, up and down. Nice. nice. Relax that neck for me. If you're feeling it in your neck or any pressure or tension, come back for a second. Set those shoulders back and down. Relax the neck and then bring it back. And again, maybe schedule a massage. 
Maybe you need it. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. So you can use two small dumbbells for this. And we're going to hold just like this, okay? Up and down. We're going to be doing a bicep curl, but a hammer curl. So you're going to hold it like a hammer. We're going to add a press, okay? So this time we're targeting all sorts of the arm, okay? All parts of the arm. Because when you curl, you're hitting that bicep. When you press, you're hitting that front and really the entire shoulder, but focus on the front because we're going forward and up, okay? So it's a nice front of the arm action right now. Nice. Keep it nice and slow, really focused on the movements and really focused on not moving the rest of the body. Try not to rock and push, just nice controlled movements. Three, two, and one. Nice, we're coming down to the floor and we're gonna do some ab work. First, we're gonna start with a plank. So if you want to start and just do a full plank with Courtney, go ahead. And I'm going to show you the lower option, okay? If you have back problems, this is the option for you. You're just going to come up into a high plank. Hands are just right under those shoulders. You're going to drop the bum so your whole body from your head to your heels is a nice straight line. And if you're down in a plank, a forearm plank, it's the same thing. Straight line from head to heels. You gaze this down between both hands. The core is braced. If you ever need to drop down to those knees, you can. Just like that. And pop back up when you're ready. Three, two, one. Very nice. We're gonna come back to our backs. You're gonna make a giant X with your body. <laughs> Nice big X, and we're gonna come, keeping our back totally flat on the floor. We're gonna come up, alternating those arms, or alternating opposite arm and opposite leg. And if you needed to, you can always use those arms, cradle just one under the neck if you're feeling any tension back there just to help get that head up. You'll just alternate which hand is holding your head. Nice, nice. We're gonna start from the very beginning. So slowly come up, bending those knees. Bring me already for those jumping jacks. Ready? <laughs> Let's do it. All the way up and all the way down. We're taking that modification right here. <laughs> Growing up, I used to do a lot of Richard Simmons. Not even joking. <laughs> so I always think of him when I do this. Because <laughs> then you want to like, you know, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> I love him so much, you guys, I really do. <laughs> nice. What a feeling. <laughs> Almost there, 10 seconds. <sighs> Three, two, and one. Very nice, narrow squats, grab those weights. Feet are hip distance apart. Shoulders are up, back, and down. Core is tight. Make sure when you're holding those weights that your core is tight and you don't let that bum slip out behind you, okay? If you've ever seen like those people that walk around with this posture, not good, okay? They're not engaging their abs. So when you do a squat or you go to perform any exercise using those large muscles, any heavy weight, They'll always, always throw out their back because they're not engaging their core. And I'm not sure that it even looks very good. I don't know, I wouldn't want to stick my tummy out. 
Who knows? Maybe you do. But what I want you to focus on is tucking those hips, and I call it junior high awkward butt, because that means your abs are engaged. Do that the whole time that you're working out. Very nice. Going into those vertical jumps. So just like the squats, make sure that your abs are on, okay? So when you come down for those squats, you feel that engagement, you feel that power right here. Nice, down and up. Nice, power, power. <laughs> up and down, up. Nice, don't forget, modifications. Always take it right here if you need to. Just back to that moderate, or to that narrow squat, okay? Just right there. Keeping those abs tucked and tight. You see that? You see a difference between that and like this, right? You feel a big difference too. Nice. Overhand, bent over rows. Swing shoulders up, back and down. Chest is nice and high. Slight bend in the knees and come forward, really hinging at the hips. Swing it up and down. Nice, your gaze is about three feet in front of you, maybe two, two feet in front of you to keep your back in a nice straight line. Bring your chest through. Nice, stand up for me. Raise your chest, shoulders back and down, and then come forward, don't let those shoulders drop. Nice. Perfect. Shake it out for a second. Then we're going into those overhand, our overhead presses. Focusing on the shoulders. Again, releasing any tension in the neck, relaxing, shaking out those shoulders when you need to. And keeping those abs tucked and tight again. And that will just keep your body from rocking back and forth. Very nice. Now we're going into those bicep hammer curl and presses. Starting with again, shoulders up, back and down, chest pulled through, core is tight, knees are soft, curl up and press. Nice. Are you breathing? We should be a little sweaty, right? A little bit, <laughs> a little bit. Nice. Keep it a nice, even pace all the way up and all the way down. You don't want this to go super fast. You don't want to be, <laughs> you could do it slower. I would definitely do it slower than faster. That way you're getting full contraction of all the muscles. Nice, last one. Perfect, come on down to the floor. And let's go into our plank. <laughs> Perfect, starting position down on the floor. <laughs> nice, and raise up. So again, if you wanted to just drop down to those knees, all you had to do was bend the knees, okay? So that way you can rest for two seconds and then just straighten them and pop them back up, okay? It's really good practice, so keep that position. And it just strengthens your whole plank. Feet are hip distance apart. Everything's in nice straight lines. Nice, 
10 seconds here. Okay. Nice. Coming back onto our backs. Those cross body crunches. So, if you didn't see, I was taking my arms out. When I would tuck one behind my head, just slide it back and cross over and start again. Okay? That way you take out the tension from your neck, but you still get that full workout. You just have your neck just supported. That feels really nice. <laughs> Nice, couple more, all the way up. Couple more, we're almost done with the whole thing. Go ahead and just lay here <laughs> for the rest of the day. Forget all responsibilities and just stay on your mat. <laughs> just kidding. Great job though, you did so awesome. You know what to do. Check your meal plan, take a selfie, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>